Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Tatiana Valeriana Mashinitz, and I am the English teacher of uh, Nazarbayev Intellectual School uh, of Astana City. Uh, the topic of our uh, speaking today and our presentation is identity and shapes of your character. So I want to pay attention to two questions which are important to, uh, to cover. So the first one is why is it important to understand people and ourselves? And the second, who and how can help to solve the problem in communication? Uh, we are going to speak about the problems in communication and possible ways of getting them uh, over. I think that every teacher experiences uh, the feeling of being worried at the beginning of the new academic year. Our students have the same problem as well. The questions are similar from both sides and they are from the sphere of social dialogues. Who are they? What communication will we have? And how is it possible to be friends? Uh, what way should we choose to show that we can understand each other? So, as adult, adult people, teachers know how to give or how to uh, have good relationships and avoid problems. But our students are unable to meet new friends uh, from the first time, although they are striving to get the social response for the main question. How to be friends almost with all friends and not only on the lessons. Uh, it is well known that students, teens, have difficulties in communication and not all of them can address to the parents or psychologists. The questions and problems are growing in number and children do not see any solutions. So in these situations, teachers can help uh, them and it is not necessary to have individual conversation or ask questions. It is better to have uh, one, two special lessons devoted to this topic. And if you have an opportunity, you can have a special unit on the topic relations, relationships or friendship. Uh, we are lucky in our IB school because we create our curriculum ourselves and include these hot issues into the program aiming to support new students of the 7th grade. Because they are newcomers at the school, they are uh, from different social backgrounds and from different school backgrounds. That's why uh, we decided that uh, these topics will be very useful for them and very helpful to discuss or maybe to show them how to communicate with each other. So, uh, what kind of activities uh, we can use on the lessons with the topic identity? So, this uh, topic can be connected with the art lessons if you want uh, work with psycho psychological tests. Personality, personality is important for any students and uh, compare with relatives, famous people and so on. So, you can find a lot of uh, information in different psychological journals or maybe even magazines uh, because our students uh, like very much to solve any psychological tests, especially at the age of uh, 12 or 13. So, uh, that's why uh, the main idea is to help our students. And when we were preparing the curriculum, we were thinking about, uh, especially about the relationships and friendship and how to make our students to be friends from the first time. Uh, we have, even we, the teachers, have difficulties uh, with new students uh, because they do, not know, uh, they do not know each other and we do not know them. And so we are um, may be worried about this. So that's why on the first lesson uh, I, ca I usually use uh, such activity, very easy activity. Uh, I ask my students uh, to write three questions they wanted me to answer. So uh, these questions can be uh, of any kind, but uh, I tell them, I usually tell them that they mustn't ask about the age about the salary and about the private life because it is the rule uh, and they uh, usually they are surprised uh, hearing such task uh, because uh, not always teachers 
can answer the questions of the students which are not connected with the lessons or any uh, school life. So uh, that's why they write uh, three questions. It is possible to do on uh, colorful uh, paper maybe or they can uh, write them in any design they like and even they maybe shouldn't write their names exactly if they don't want. So if they want they can write uh, the names. Usually the questions are not very difficult to answer. Mostly they are about uh, maybe how, um, how long are you working here or are you from Astana or maybe how many children uh, have you got, such a kind of questions. Uh, while doing this task and after this taking the papers, uh, you can check their, mm, uh, their skills in writing the questions and you can check up the grammar. So after looking through the questions, you can see what kind of mistakes they do and um, what topics in grammar uh, you should cover during uh, the first time. So the first lesson, you can begin with one more uh, moving task, find someone who. Uh, the students get a kind of questionnaire uh, with different types of person's qualities or their hobbies and while going around the room, Ask uh, each other such questions as, uh, for example, do you like animals or are you a kind person and so on. The results of the task should be discussed and you will have the opportunity to see students' skills in getting information, comparing and analyzing as well as in speaking. One more advantage of the task is you will have the chance to determine the level of the language acquisition. So. Um, you can ask them to uh, fill in the table, maybe, or you can give them uh, examples of the sentences. Uh, for example, two people which I talked to said that, or um, three of us mostly like, or no one likes, and so on. So uh, then you can uh, give them time to write down the results in order to make the work easier uh, and ask them to inform you and the classmates about their uh, a kind of research. So after the discussion uh, you can ask a question what was difficult or what was easy and why. Uh, the students with great pleasure will uh, uh, with great pleasure will tell you uh, what was the most difficult and most of them will mention that the most difficult thing is or was to come up to a person uh, whom they do not know. After that it is nice to have listening comprehension. It is possible to read the text about the theory of meeting new people by Professor Leonid Zanin who considers that it takes only four minutes to decide if the person will be your friend or not. So, of course, uh, the text is not very easy maybe for the seventh grade, but nevertheless you can make it easier to listen and to understand. And uh, after the reading, after the listening, uh, you should have a kind of reflection. And also it can be uh, in oral way or in written or in written form and it will be a kind of answer to the question do you agree with this idea or not and why. So at the same time if you do not have enough time uh, you can give them this task or the questions about relationships and making friends uh, according to the text uh, to be done at home. So it will depend on your situation of the lesson. But I think that uh, it is possible to discuss everything uh, at the lesson exactly and give maybe some advice uh, some advice to students uh, how to behave maybe the next lesson which will be this, uh, the second. And one more way to help students to understand themselves is to give them a short test. For example, your character and magic figures. So uh, the task is 
to ask them to sum up all figures of their date of birth and the final figure is the characteristic of the personality. So, uh, the sample. You were born on the 7th of January 1970, so you sum all the numbers, all the figures here, and at the end you will get 9. So, it depends on the uh, figure which students will get at the end and the results uh, you can see. For example, if they have 1, uh, you will read the adjectives to every, uh, every figure and, for example, the first will be smart, clever, but cold. The second, uh, generous, well brought up and calm and so on till the nine. So, of course, uh, it will be very interesting for them. You will repeat uh, some personality adjectives and uh, then you can ask the students if they agree or they do not agree <laughs> with these characteristics. So, having done this short test, uh, students will know some interesting facts about themselves uh, and you have the opportunity to introduce new vocabulary of character features. So, besides, you can suggest students discuss, uh, discussing the phrases about friendship. Uh, something like uh, you see on this slide and as well as uh, you can create your own test or find in the internet as I have already mentioned. So uh, the first picture and the task for discussing maybe it is um, give the definition of friendship is uh, of friendship of friends uh, beginning each uh, each line with the first letter or with each letter of the word friends. So you see that F, for example, fighting for you, R, respect you, I, include you, uh, so E, encourage you, N, need you, D, deserve you, and S, stand by you. So, it is a kind of example uh, and you can ask your students to give you their own ideas, but the beginning should be the letters from the word friends. So, and uh, maybe at the end of the lesson you will discuss uh, why do they think that friend, for example, should fight for, uh, for anybody to protect uh, or to deserve you. So, the students will give, uh, I think, very good answers and you can say that uh, they can express their own opinion without thinking what the teacher uh, or what is the teacher's opinion about, the, uh, about them and their ideas. Or, uh, the next phrase is, in life we never lose friends, we only learn who the true ones are. Again, you can give this phrase, for example, and give the task uh, to write associations connected with the phrase. And uh, you see that some words are in the red color. You can uh, tell your students to pay attention to them. Uh, what is the connection between lose, learn, true and friends? And also, uh, if you give them the task to write down the associations connected with the phrases, or uh, with the picture or with any idea. Uh, the, main, uh, the main, maybe not problem, but uh, the main idea is not to check up grammar, not to check up vocabulary, but uh, you should give them opportunity to express themselves in free way and to show them that they can discuss any topic giving their own points of view. Uh, I think it's a good training uh, and as a preparation for your, uh, for your next work with more serious maybe topics. So, uh, the next short and very interesting test uh, was taken from the book of Bernard Weber, The Empire of Angels. This test was interesting for me because it is connected with uh, different even school subjects. Uh, for example, uh, it is connected with the uh, arts, uh, with the design, then with the language itself and uh, maybe with their 
creativity even because they will at the end they will have a kind of pictures uh, in their notebook or sheets of paper which you are going to give them uh, so uh, the steps of this test is uh, the first uh, students should draw six big squares then they draw a circle in the first square triangle in the second uh, in the third they should draw the steps and in the fourth they should draw uh, a cross and in the two last squares they should draw a square and uh, draw a turned down figure uh, three so uh, when they are looking <laughs> at these images uh, they are surprised because they can't understand what will be the next and uh, then you ask your students to add something to each figure they can use different colors mm, and uh, but at the end they should get a real and understandable image and after that they should write adjectives inside each square characterizing uh, these images so uh, when the students finish their work they will give them uh, the meaning of their masterpiece you will do it so um, you should say that um, after drawing the shape please think what it looks like if you add something so uh, for example the first mm, so the first image is a circle so they should add anything they like but usually uh, most of the children add uh, some two dots uh, and a curve line uh, something like uh, smiling face they will get as a result they will uh, they can color it uh, with different pencils or something with everything they want and uh, they should uh, write adjectives for example sunny happy uh, or maybe unhappy it depends on the situation and this task should be done or this work should be done with all uh, all square uh, all squares so they will have six images so at the end uh, you ask them for example to look at the colorful pictures and you can ask them uh, what do you think uh, is the connection of this picture and the question or maybe um, with any aspects of the life so uh, some students I'm sure they will guess what you want of them and they will uh, guess or maybe some of them will have already known this test but nevertheless it's very nice to do it every time because it will be different and so the meaning of the pictures so the first picture is uh, uh, the way how students sees him himself or herself so it is the image of their own personality maybe of their inner world uh, and due to the adjectives you can see their feelings about this so the second is the way uh, he or she um, uh, maybe um, think about the attitude of other people to him or to her so the main idea of this part is it is not their own uh, attitude to themselves but their ideas of other people think of them the third image is uh, his or her relationships to the life as a whole thing which uh, they live every day maybe so the fourth picture is his or her vision of the own spirit of the world and the fifth picture is his or her attitude to the family and at last uh, and the last one the six is the student's attitude to love uh, of course uh, some images or maybe some ideas will be uh, striking for them especially their ideas about the love because they didn't expect this once on my lesson one uh, seventh grade student uh, asked 
why his understanding of love was in uh, brown color. So, um, and so I have to explain that maybe for that period of time at the lesson or at that age in the seventh grade, it is something mysterious and it is something secret and that's why you do not know what is it and uh, for you it is a kind of maybe something uh, behind the mist. So, and uh, I have to say that maybe in some period of time, maybe in one year or something like that, when you uh, will have a, a girl which you like, uh, your colors will change. So, or you can invite, for example, a school psychologist if you have uh, to this uh, lesson and she can explain students uh, all the meaning according to the psychological uh, base. So, uh, what kind of reflection can you have after this test? Uh, you can give uh, some, some students some minutes to realize their results and prepare maybe unrehearsed speech, giving their opinion if they agree or not with the images. So they can describe, or you can even not uh, give, for example, meaning of the pictures. You can ask them, uh, what have you drawn and uh, what are the colors, uh, why the colors are bright or why the colors are black or dark and so on. And so they also should give their own opinion. They should explain why they, cho why they have chosen uh, this or that color and um, this or that maybe shape or image and what is this uh, image for them uh, for example if they have for example a house uh, you can ask why do you think that it is the house and the house should be in this color or of these shapes and so on the main idea is to understand themselves but at the same time to develop their speaking skills and to develop uh, maybe their uh, ability uh, to express own ideas and uh, to express opinions. So, uh, of course, uh, while doing this task, uh, the teachers should uh, be ready to explain some, uh, some maybe misunderstanding according to usage of the colors, as I uh, gave in the example, or adjectives. And if you notice very dark or some dark colors or negative adjectives uh, in students' works, you can uh, ask the school psychologist to speak with the problem students. I think it will help them um, because after the lesson, which I have already told you, uh, I asked our school psychologist to speak with the boy and uh, try to explain uh, him or give him a helpful helpful hand uh, because I think that from one side uh, he has the problems with making friends. So uh, of course psychological tests I think can be a starting point for the topic personal identity uh, and uh, it is the opportunity to speak not only about the student's personality but compare it with famous or historical uh, personalities of any time and of any country. So as a sample, uh, you can use the information and exercises uh, from the textbook for intermediate level of opportunities. Uh, so the unit is called uh, identity and uh, the whole material and exercises uh, there are useful uh, and um, very interesting uh, created. Uh, to discuss the problems of communication. So, after learning uh, vocabulary and grammar and discussing topics from the unit, uh, you can uh, speak about the national identity. You should connect uh, personal identity with the maybe identity of the whole uh, people of the country or maybe well-known people of um, any country, but mostly it's better to speak about our famous people such as Akensi Fulin, uh, Bauran Mamushuli, Aljar Sulimenov, Talgat Musabayev, Rosa Baglanova and a lot of other famous people of the country. Uh, 
here should be uh, maybe uh, here should be two aims. So the first aim is uh, to develop their ability in speaking, uh, and the most important uh, to show them the way to be proud of uh, famous people of own country, to be patriotic and uh, remember their roots. So, um, teacher, uh, teachers can give the task to choose one uh, famous person of our country and prepare a report about the chosen person, including the information about different periods of his or her life. Uh, so, and they point out the events in the life of this person uh, or uh, in the life of the country which influenced uh, the personality or changed something in the character of the chosen person and made him uh, an outstanding person uh, remembered by different generations. Uh, this task can be given as a home task for some period of time uh, it depends on your ideas and your own creativity, but uh, even you can give them uh, the points which they should uh, highlight in their reports. Uh, but the main idea is to show that uh, events or people around us can change something in the character or can, uh, can uh, change, maybe not in the character, but the be in behavior even. So, uh, the task can be given on the lesson, but information, as I have already told you, uh, should be prepared uh, beforehand. So, it will be easier to work them, uh, with them. And, of course, um, giving them the time to prepare uh, information, uh, you should inform them uh, what kind of resources they can use, uh, what kind of resources are credible, not very credible, and you should uh, warn them about using the information from the Wikipedia because it is not considered credible resource. But nevertheless, encyclopedias they have or any our textbooks of on history and so on. Everything possible to use, but the information should be uh, should be reliable. So uh, on the lesson, on the lesson you can give them the task for example to draw a lifeline of uh, the chosen character or a kind of mind map or any types of presentation uh, and uh, the main idea of this task is uh, the task should be connected with the events or people uh, which make great impact on the personality or on the history of our country uh, and observe uh, the, the students should observe how uh, this um, famous person became a leader. So, from uh, maybe uh, observing their life from step to, uh, to step or step by step. So, it is possible to ask them to compare student's character and analyze if he or she is a persistent in achieving uh, the goals or serving the motherland as a hero they have chosen. So, uh, this task can be given uh, again to make, uh, to prepare in individual way or in pairs. If you are going to give this task uh, to prepare during the lesson in pairs, you can ask students compare different famous people. Maybe they will have not one person. So, if you are going to, it's possible to give them this task uh, to make in groups, uh, but again, it will be a kind of comparison maybe. They should compare all the people they have chosen uh, by themselves. What do they have in common? What uh, do they have as different uh, features? And then they can, can compare uh, with themselves. And it will be very nice if you use, for example, a kind of um, learner profile, uh, which is used to maybe encourage our students to be active and to be risk takers during the whole life, not only at the school. So, uh, of course, everything depends on your creativity as a teacher and your own opinion about the personality and maybe influence of one person on the society or uh, the influence of the society on the person. 
So your creativity will make uh, great help maybe for the students. So um, in the conclusion, I want to tell some words why uh, is it important for teachers to help students to understand themselves. Uh, to have mutual understanding, what is it, warm atmosphere on the lesson and uh, discuss the ways of getting over the problems uh, out of the school, of getting these problems out of the school. So, of course, every lesson we should have a kind of warm atmosphere on the lesson uh, during the time of working together. Uh, because the school life and time spent alone uh, with classmates or with the teachers is the most memorable time of our childhood. And everybody remembers that uh, sometimes we need the close people near us who support, understand and protect uh, us and who is ready to help uh, us in the troubles. Uh, even we teachers uh, as adults, adults um, can remember maybe uh, negative situations or maybe positive situations, but nevertheless all the time while remembering we uh, try to understand uh, who was near us and who helped us in this or that situation. So, uh, and we remember how disappointed we were not having such people around us. So, as we are now experienced in such events, uh, we should or even must be the helpful persons uh, for our students. And we should be ready always to listen to them, give advice or discuss um, together the ways out or ways of getting over the obstacles or complicated situations. Such discussions can prepare our students for adult life in all its diversity with, their, with its advantages or disadvantages. And the main idea of this, as a teacher, uh, you can teach them how to speak, uh, how to express their opinion, how to use the words, and uh, how to compare and analyze. And as a person, you can show them the way uh, to be a good person in the life, uh, a good way to help the students, classmates, uh, without remembering if, you, uh, if the student like anybody or doesn't like. And so mm, it will help you even uh, to understand your students. And if they have something serious, they can tell you uh, if they trust you and you will have the time to inform maybe or to communicate with the parents about this event uh, or um, you will remind the uh, school psychologist uh, to speak with these uh, children. And you know that our students have now a lot of information from different resources, even in the internet. And uh, nobody knows what kind of information it is. Is it reliable or not reliable? But uh, we should um, give the students opportunity to express uh, maybe their questions, their difficulties in this topic. And you should ha uh, we uh, should help our students to understand themselves, to understand people around them. So, uh, at the end maybe uh, of this topic, if it is some lessons or maybe one lesson, you can suggest them uh, these pictures to describe, which you can see in this slide. And so uh, you, should, um, you can ask them to express their opinion or what do they think. And um, you can give them uh, the way and the opportunity to uh, develop their creativity to develop their ability in comparison, in uh, making uh, any conclusions, or maybe even you will help them to create um, advice for their classmates or peers. Thank you very much. Goodbye.